30 minute session almost exactly done pure fitness footwork strength explosiveness plyometrics and that's a way for me to shock my system into training again into getting back into a routine i i gave myself kind of more or less a week off from training just to recover mentally to recover physically a little bit i mean i know i didn't do much in the season but it was very draining for me not just physically but mentally as well as you guys know you guys know the story by now you guys know what's going on not just this last team but the whole year basically and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have zero zero motivation right now i have zero my tank is completely empty it's completely empty i'm relying purely on discipline i'm relying purely on routine or trying to get back into routine that's what i'm relying on I'm, i have zero motivation i'm not gonna sugarcoat things it's been tough lately in my head i've been going through a lot not just like on the pitch but off the pitch as well like some some you know mental health issues have you know affected me with stuff off the pitch as well and it's been really tough and i've been trying to cope with it and i think i'm gonna have to take some you know preemptive measures you know in my my daily routine in order to you know stop it from spiraling out of control and i say this just to be honest with you guys because football players footballers you've seen it with Jaden sancho you've seen it with rafinha you've seen it with you know a lot of players coming out recently on these things but mental health is a big issue in this sport because it's lonely people don't understand the grind people don't understand the industry and you know a lot of times you feel alone in the struggle even though I can assure you guys, you're not alone, but it feels lonely. And yeah, so I decided I wanna try to hold myself accountable in doing maybe two sessions a day, two training sessions a day, get myself in the best possible shape for the upcoming trials that my agents have coming up for me. You know, the goal is to go back to the United States and to get trials at USL championship teams, USL one teams. And to me, that is the goal. That is a goal of mine. My goal is the MLS. My goal is first division, you know, anywhere in the world, you know, get into European competition, Asian Champions League, that kind of stuff. That's my ultimate goal. But this is just a step for me to get there. And so I need to be in the best shape possible. I need to be in the shape of USL Championship guys because USL Championship guys, you've seen them. You've seen guys like become elite. You've seen guys like like uh, 7 MLC. You've seen guys like that, you know? Um, Tulu on TikTok. Uh, they're massive. They're absolutely jacked. And they can run all day. They're absolute engines. And I want to work on my engine. I want to work on my explosiveness because, you know, in the U.S. it's a very physical game. It's not so technical like it is in Brazil. So I want to try to get that as naturally as possible. I want to get that natural engine. That's one of my goals. Be as in good shape as possible, obviously. Always work on the technique. Always work on the soccer IQ. Always work on the movements. But fitness is a huge thing. If you don't go into a trial fully fit, you can kiss that trial goodbye because yeah, it's just not gonna work. So I wanna make the most of the opportunities that I'm gonna get in the next upcoming months, in the next upcoming year. So I need to turn my career around, guys. You've seen it, you've seen what I've gone through in this career. And yeah, I mean, ever since I started documenting really, this has been an extremely long talk, more than I thought I was going to. I always blabber on in these videos, so I apologize. But I'm just here to, you know, tell the truth and to, I don't hide anything, as you guys know. So thank you guys for watching. Please hold me accountable. Please comment what you want to see more of. Please comment if you have any good drills for me to try out. I would love to try out some drills that some of you guys have maybe done in the past that I haven't done. So please let me know. 
subscribe as always you guys know that the more you subscribe the more you like the more you comment the more that my videos go out there for footballers that need this kind of content for footballers that need to see the reality because the reality is not what you see on tv so subscribe get my name out there let's grow this community together let's expose the football industry together let's grow together i appreciate you guys and peace